we're laughed at all over the world. He's laughed at all over the world, and he's our representative. They didn't laugh at us, I'll tell you that. They, they did not laugh at us. My administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. <laughs> It's a perfect example of what it's like to live in Trump's reality. No matter what the issue is, he just tells some version that makes him look good. But when he's in front of people that aren't waiting to be told what to think, he's surprised by their response. It's nothing like what he experiences when his audience is full of MAGA. I just wonder, too, I mean, how come almost everybody I know of that went to college is a Biden supporter? Yeah. And I don't understand how everybody is a Biden supporter if you just went to college. So what are they teaching in this college? Are they teaching anything? Stuff like inclusivity and respecting other people, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, woke. Yeah, wokeness, yeah. yeah. The indoctrination can't be any clearer. So if you went to college in 2002, well before Biden was elected even vice president, how did these universities install wokeness about the current administration? All of the majors and classes that people take in college, do all of them just teach political groupthink to agree with most of what Democrats advocate for? I have another thought. How did they explain the many college campuses that vehemently protest and demonstrate in opposition to the decisions Biden's making with his support for Israel's targeted killing of countless innocent Palestinian people? They criticize some of these protesters for not being on board, while forgetting that their talking point is that they're being indoctrinated to blindly support Democrats. Doesn't make any sense. There's no second step to this thought process, but some folks come to the most concrete decisions simply because Trump handed it to them to adopt. Tell me why you're here. Uh, check out the Trump, the Trump, uh, check out the Trump thing. What's your, what's your thoughts on so far what you've seen here today? Well, obviously, it's totally weaponized. Um, even Stormy Daniels said that it never happened. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that the person, the, the key person in all of this, denied that any of this even happened? Yeah, yeah exactly. And Cohn said he lied. They all said he lied. He's one of the supporters that just started paying attention once the former president hit them with this six-year-old breaking news about that letter Stormy Daniels signed that denied any affair happened. And if he heard about it back in 2018 when it was actually breaking, he'd know that she's since retracted her statement, explaining that she signed it due to the NDA and people making her feel like she had no other choice. Now, people can actually believe it or not since her story has changed back and forth, but the fact that their understanding of this matter is only based on what Trump feeds them is telling. He takes that blind loyalty and runs for president on the strength of him being a criminal. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. It's very simple. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. They want you silenced. And I am the only one that can save this nation because you know they're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I just happen to be standing in their way and I will never be moving. On November 5th, 2024, justice will be done. We will take back our country and we will make America great again. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great job. I'm not sure which of these crimes these supporters have committed that has the feds coming after them while Trump stands in the way. Did they steal classified documents and continuously lie about returning them? Maybe some of them did conspire to undo Trump's 2020 election loss by planning to implement and coordinate this attack on the collection of votes and the certification of them that revealed the brutal truth that he lost. Regardless, though, it's obvious that since he doesn't have much of a defense in these cases, his approach has been to prepare the minds of his followers to reject anything that shows the ugly truth about his part in the several cases that he's failed at dismissing for months. And the main takeaway is that no one has seen anything like this ever. This is an assault on America. Nothing like this has ever happened before. There's never been anything like it. Every legal scholar said this case is nonsense. It should never have been brought. It doesn't deserve anything like this. There is no case, and they've said it. People that don't necessarily follow or like Donald Trump said this is an outrage that this case was brought. This is political persecution. This is a persecution like never before. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And again, it's a case that should have never 
been brought. It's an assault on America. And that's why I'm very proud to be here. This is an assault on our country. And it's a country that's failing. It's a country that's run by an incompetent man who's very much involved in this case. This is really an attack on a political opponent. That's all it is.